President Biden calling his latest Build Back Better bill a framework for historic investments in our country. He did unveil it today. Political specialist Sean Boyd is here now to explain what's in it what's not in it and what some say has to get done first, John. What the president unveiled today is a much slimmer version mm -hmm. of his original three and a half trillion dollar package. But it is sweeping nonetheless, just under two trillion dollars in safety net programs and climate change initiatives. The president has spent months trying to satisfy party moderates who want less spending and progressives who want more. The liberals have refused to pass his one point two trillion dollar infrastructure bill until they had a social spending bill. The president warned them today his fate and theirs depends on getting both bills passed. The president delayed leaving on a trip to Europe to rally Democrats around the revamp plan. This framework includes historic investments in our nation. The $1.75 trillion proposal has $550 billion in climate initiatives, including incentives for electric vehicles and renewable energy, but it's much less than liberals initially envisioned. The plan also includes universal pre-K for all three and four-year-olds, an extension of the child tax credit, and reduction in health plan premiums under the Affordable Care Act. But it leaves out paid family leave, free community college, a tax on billionaires and expansion of Medicare. No one got everything they wanted, including me. But that's what compromise is. The text is there for you to review, for you to complain about, for you to add to, for subtract from, whatever it is, and we'll see what consensus uh, emerges from that. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi plans to hold a vote on the infrastructure bill as early as Thursday, but House progressives want a commitment from moderates that they'll vote for the social spending measure first. We intend to vote for both bills when the Build Back Better Act is ready. Now, the proposal also includes tax changes, including lifting the cap on how much state and local taxes people can deduct from their federal taxes. Mm -hmm. Although details remain a bit in right. flux tonight, of course, including how they're going to pay for all these new proposals. Yeah, and right up until the vote, a lot can change. <laughs> right. Yeah, thanks, Sean. It always does. <laughs>